I just want to give you a quick introduction into forms and just show you an example of how powerful forms can be when integrating them with other apps. So in this example, I'm going to be using client onboarding as the example. And that's basically the process of getting a client set up from when we convert them into a customer to when we get all their contracts signed and get them ready to uh, receive our product or service. And so where I'm triggering this process from and where the process starts is in my CRM. So this is my CRM close IO. You could trigger it from any other CRM such as Salesforce or Pipedrive, or you could trigger it from something like pay, a PayPal purchase, a purchase on your e-commerce store, a web form submission, or sending an email to a particular email address or tagging an email or receiving an email with a specific search string like um, from, from any of your merchant services, for example. So you can trigger this process from a lot of different um, places. And in this example, we trigger the process when we change an opportunity status from um, anything to customer converted. And so when we tag a customer with an opportunity as customer converted, that basically tells, we have a, a Zap set up via Zapier, that tells Process Street that a new customer um, has started and then that actually triggers the Zap in Process Street. We then head over to Process Street to the client onboarding folder. And we can see that the new process has been triggered from the CRM. So you can see, you know, the, the lead that we're looking at was Tesla. We marked them converted. Now we've got Tesla as a new customer, $500,000 deal, not bad. And you can see that that's automatically generated this checklist in Process Street um, and named it Tesla. That's actually something that was available in the old um, Zapier integration, but I'm going to show you the, the, the real power with forms right now. So once we come into the checklist, we can already see that there's been a little bit of activity. So we've added a couple of comments there, but what I really want to show you is that the form fields have automatically been populated from the CRM. So we ran a brand new checklist and I was able to push in a lot of the elements from the CRM into my form fields here. Basically, meaning that I didn't have to do any type of copying and pasting or data entry or anything to get this done. You can see we pulled over the company name, the contact name, the email, really important, especially when you want to pass data to other apps, um, the date, the, the lead status, and actually a link back to their um, lead profile in the CRM. And something else that you can't actually see right now is a hidden field that's in here that actually has just the lead ID in the CRM. And this is something that we, that we, can, um, that we can use in the future. Although with Zapier's lookup feature, most of the time the email is probably all you need. And we'll talk about why this is important in a second. Um, some more information I pushed in, I pushed in, you know, using markup, I pushed in the LinkedIn profile. And again, just like a clickable link to the CRM. Um, this is, you know, just for convenience, maybe you don't need this structured data, but it's just there in case people want to access it. Um, and then also, you know, just an image or other attachments you can push in there. And so that's pushed in the information here. So now when I'm going through and, uh, I, I've, you know, I've been auto assigned this process, um, and got a notification that, that, that it went live and the new customer came in and now I can basically go and work through the process. We can double check the client information is all correct in here. Um, if there's additional fields that you might need to populate um, or you know you might need to adjust, you can do that to make sure everything is correct. You'll see that the, the, the quality and the information here is pretty important in this example. And then you can move through the onboarding process. So we can go back and we can say, okay, we can check which options that they needed these can all be used to trigger things or used in um, populating other apps in the future as well, which ones are selected or not. We can upload things or attach things. We can send emails, we can use the email templates and we can go through and basically, you know, complete the onboarding process. And, and as we're doing things, we can populate, you know, different fields with the form. So we can collect and add additional data to um, that client's uh, profile using the forms. Um, but what else we can do with the forms is we can actually, and this is what's really powerful, is we can actually automate other tasks in other apps. And so in this example, I can check this item and I have a Zap set up to say when I check this item, it triggers a contract in HelloSign. And so what it actually does is it, it takes the information from the form here, uh, the company name, the contact name, the email, 
uh, et cetera, any of the fields that I want. And it sends it to HelloSign or say any contract generation tool that you want. And it will populate the fields in your template, automatically send the contract out to the client. Um, and you can see here, I've actually just received the contract for signing now. Um, and I can kind of go and click and sign it. Um, this is the notification here. I can go and click and sign it, or they will receive an email that they can go and click and sign the contract. So that kind of automation is extremely powerful. Instead of needing to, you know, have an instruction here, for example, that says go into HelloSign and uh, select this template. You know, you might have screenshots or something and, and fill out this information. Now with just a single click, we can automate that entire thing. The emails go out, um, everybody gets notified, contracts get signed automatically. The other integration that I have set up with Zapier is I actually am sending the information of what's happening in Process Street back to the CRM. So as I go through Process Street and check off tasks, I actually have it set up so that it sends or creates a note in my CRM saying that I created the task with a link back to the task that was completed. You know, you could put more information in here if you wanted. You could put in form fields or, or whatever. Um, but this is just, this is the example that I have set up. And in that way, if I'm a sales rep, I can see that somebody's working through that checklist onboarding the client without having to go and log into Process Street and see what's happening. I can see which tasks are being completed and the progress that's happening. Um, you could also send the comments that are happening or anything else that, that was happening back into the CRM. And the way that I can do this is because, well, I can do this a couple of ways, but I can do this because I took the ID and I, and I, and I sent the, the CRM ID to Process Street in one of the form fields. And then I can also do this because I can do an email lookup um, with the email field that I have in Process Street and use that um, as a lookup value to send data to other apps, including back to the CRM. But taking that structured data, you can do anything that you really want. So you could, for example, add their information to MailChimp or some other type of marketing system. You could automatically generate PDF documents using web merge. You could send out invoices via QuickBooks or your accounting software. You can send out surveys by connecting with um, SurveyMonkey. You can send out any type of automatically generated email where you merge in particular parts of these into the email um, via Mandrill or an SMTP server using Zapier. Um, so you can, you can start to automate tons of stuff that may be involved in your day-to-day -day onboarding processes. That's like becomes a really powerful element of forms. Um, another thing that you can do then, once you're going through and completing all this data, obviously you can see the dashboard and track the progress of the different clients that you're onboarding. But what you can also do now is you can actually export all this data as a CSV and you can export it as a CSV and that will basically give you a spreadsheet where every row is one of these checklists. And so, and then, and then in the columns, you're going to have all the data related to, you know, a creation date, people who were assigned, and then also the, the tasks that were completed, and not completed, and then also the form fields and the val and the, and the data inside the form field. So if you want to have, you know, all the emails or whatever, extract all that data, import it somewhere else, um, you can do that. And then you can also push all the data in via Zapier and send all the data out via Zapier. So you can send it to spreadsheets or send it to um, any other type of app, just like I showed you with HelloSign there. So that's just a quick intro to forms. We're gonna have a lot of other cool stuff coming out around it. Um, we're gonna have things like required fields. We're gonna have a data view, so you can be able to see that spreadsheet in the app really easily and get a, a more bird's eye overview of, of all the workflows that are running and a lot of other cool stuff. So I'd love to get your feedback on this new feature. Cheers.